Good morning and welcome to another episode of My Travel Money TV. Today we're going to get into World Cup spirit and help out the tens of thousands of Brits who will be heading over to watch Stephen Gerrard lift the World Cup for England. We wish. No doubt it's probably costing you an arm and a leg and maybe a ticking off from the missus to even board that plane to Rio or Sao Paulo. So now you're committed, we want to give some top tips on how to make your pounds and Brazilian real go that little bit further. So Brazilian real. The currency of Brazil is the Brazilian real. At the time of the presentation, one pound at today's market rate on the 18th of February converts into 3.9815 Brazilian real. You can check out the live rates on the My Currency Transfer Brazilian real on our currency conversion pages. At the point of buying your Brazilian reals, always check the rate you are being offered for reals against the mid-market exchange rate. Remember, the closer the two numbers, the better the deal. The wider the two numbers, the worse the deal. Secondly, go for home delivery. The world's worst place to exchange Brazilian real is the airport bureau at Heathrow, Gatwick or Manchester Airport or wherever you are flying from. It pays to shop around on your travel money. By ordering reals online for home delivery, you can save up to 10% on the exchange rate alone. And this can equate to £50 on every £500 worth of Brazilian real that you are buying. Thirdly, we recommend that you take a currency converter app. You head into Sao Paulo's famous food market, guzzling beer with the three Lions fanatical fans in the main square in Rio, consider taking a currency converter app on your travels. You'll quickly be able to see the cost of your Brazilian currency purchases in your home currency. Apps like My Travel Buddy will also let you note down every expense if you're feeling super frugal. Holiday money does not need to be like play money anymore. Fourthly, beware of dynamic currency conversion. So whether you're in the jungle in Belo Horizonte or Rio, please, please stick to one golden rule. So when Carlos, your wine waiter, asks whether you want to pay by plastic in pounds or Brazilian reals, always opt for reals. Selecting the local currency will avoid the pitfalls of dynamic currency conversion which would essentially give the local restaurant free reign to set the exchange rate markup. And when they do, it isn't pretty. You could pay up to 6% more. Lastly, we recommend that you do not carry any valuables around with you if you can avoid it. It's highly unlikely you'll run into any problems with theft, even with the reputation that Brazil has. The World Cup will undoubtedly be policed heavily, and you should be able to roam around without fear. Still take care and don't wear any unnecessary valuables to draw unwanted attention. When you're walking up to the Copacabana at night, ditch the Rolex watch, Hermes belt or Gucci shoes. The World Cup is a carnival, not a fashion parade. I'd advise not to wear any jewellery at all. Likewise, think twice before you ask a group sitting next to you on the beach to look after your stuff before you go for a swim. It's not worth the risk. So to round off, we hope you have a fabulous time in Brazil and we're keeping all our fingers crossed that you'll see Stephen Gerrard come home with the World Cup. We're not holding our breath, but hey, funnier things have happened. So we hope you've enjoyed today's episode of My Travel Money TV. And if you have any follow-up questions, please don't hesitate to contact us on Twitter at MyTravelMoneyUK or you can always email me directly at sophia at mytravelmoney.co.uk. Thank you for watching and goodbye.